In Yoruba religion, Oya was the goddess of weather, known to be one of the most powerful deities in Africa. She was also a strong and brave warrior who was considered to be unbeatable. Her Celtic equivalent is Bridget, Catholicized as Saint Bridget. Oya was an Orisha in Yoruba religion, meaning that she was a spirit sent by one of the three manifestations of the Supreme God, known as Olajimer. Legba, known affectionately as Papa Legba, is a West African and Caribbean Vodou god. He is one of the Loa, who are the spirits of daily life in the Vodou beliefs. Although he's known by many names depending on the context, he's best known as Papa Legba. He plays an important role in Vodou and remains one of the most significant deities of the religion. Papa Legba's role as a Vodou god. Papa Legba is one of the most important spirits from the ranks of the Rada family of Loa spirits in the Haitian Vodou religion. In Haitian Vodou, Papa Legba is the mediator between the Loa and humanity. His role is an important one, as he is a guardian of spiritual crossroads, with the power to give or deny permission to speak with Guinean spirits. Because of this, Legba is always the first and last spirit invoked at rituals and ceremonies, as it is he who opens and closes the gateway. Eshu, also spelled Eshu, also called a Legba, trickster god of the Yoruba of Nigeria, an essentially protective, benevolent spirit who serves Ifa, the chief god, as a messenger between heaven and earth. Eshu requires constant appeasement in order to carry out his assigned functions of conveying sacrifices and divining the future. One myth depicts Eshu as tricking Ifa out of the secrets of divination, another, in which Eshu restores Ifa from his imprisonment in a palm tree, casts him as the founder of the Ifa religion. In Yoruba religion, Ogun is a primordial Orisha in Yoruba land. In some traditions, he is said to have cleared a path for the other Orisha to enter Earth, using a metal axe and with the assistance of a dog. To commemorate this, one of his praise names, Oriki, is Ozen Amoli or the first of the primordial Orisha to come to Earth. He is the god of war and metals. Shango, also called Chango, major deity of the religion of the Yoruba of southwestern Nigeria. He also figures in the religion of the Edo people of southeastern Nigeria, who refer to him as a Sango, and in the religion of the Fon people of Benin, who call him Sogbo or Ibioso. Like all of the Yoruba gods, Orishas, Shango is both a deified ancestor and a natural force, both aspects being associated with a cult and a priesthood. Nana Baluku was originally a deity from the Fon religion. The Fon people are an ethnic group from Benin, localized particularly in the southern part of the region, with a well-organized system of deities that constitutes the Vodou pantheon. In Fon mythology, Nana Baluku is known as the ancestral deity who gave birth to the divine twins Mawu and Lisa, respectively the moon and the sun. It's noteworthy that sometimes these two divinities are simply addressed as the primal dual god Mawu. Anansi is a West African god who is often portrayed as a trickster. His name translates to spider and he is often depicted as such. Anansi is considered to be the god of all knowledge of stories. He is also one of the most important characters of West African, African American, and Caribbean folklore. Ezeli Danto, or Ezeli Danto, is the manifestation of Ursuli, the divinity of love. It is said that Ezeli Danto has a dark complexion and is maternal in nature. The Ezeli are feminine spirits in Haitian Vodou culture that personify womanhood. Afrikit is the youngest child of a gay and neat of the Dahomean Sea Pantheon. A town named Avlakit near a saltwater lagoon just east of the port city of Wida, Wida, is named in her honor. She is a guardian deity, offering protection to those traveling over the water plus gifts of abundance, knowledge, and fertility. 
She protects the treasures of the sea, although not invoked first, Dambala is the father of all the Lows. He is the archetypal wise Loa, the patriarchal serpent divinity, associated with wisdom, peace, purity, benevolence, life and innocence. Dambala is highly respected and is one of the most revered African gods. Gekar was the son of Alurua, the bowel of West Africa, s name for Buluku, the Vodou Sky Father. He was known as the Gorilla God, God of Judgment, and as the Ape God. Modern age the Gorilla God is still worshipped by the white gorilla cult in the African nation of Wakanda. While Voodoo contains many gods, better known as Loa or Loa, associated with life and death, Baron Samedi, Baron Saturday, is their leader and the most important god of the dead. He is one of the lesser divine spirits in Voodoo that sits below the one all-powerful god Bondi. But this Voodoo god is beyond the comprehension of men and practitioners do not engage with him directly. While many gods protect the remains of the dead and guide the souls of the dead to the other side, only Baron Samadhi can judge souls and let them pass over. He is also considered a god of resurrection, as he can heal any mortal wound, bringing a person back from the brink of death. An extremely powerful deity, he is commonly called on for powerful magical rituals.